Hi everyone, welcome back to episode two of All About the Shoes. Tony's here, obviously. Hello. Um, I can think at this point he owns about like 30% of the company, <laughs> but like I still veto him. Yep. Um, brain fart moment, but uh, we are here. We each picked one of each of the main doll lines that are in my room, yep. of the doll lines that we both give a shit about. So, oh. Disclaimer, I am an adult collector. I do not collect for your children. I do not talk to your children. I'm not here to babysit your children. Um, this is a strictly PG-13 channel. Yep. So, please click away. I'm not here for your young children. Yep. So, that's your warning. Uh, so, here we have a doll of each franchise. So, Ever After High, Monster High, LOL OMG, Shadow High and Rainbow High. So we each picked one of each franchise mm -hmm. to talk about. And so we're going to start with Tony's Ever After High pick. Uh, Holly O'Hare. And then we're going to talk about her shoes. So why'd you pick Holly's shoes? Uh, I just... Uh, all of Ever After High's shoes have a really nice thing about them yeah they were really hard to pick from yeah they're all so intricately designed and have so much thought and care put into them you know um and this one i just think especially fits the doll that they put them on like the tower um, heel yeah like the tower yeah. heel is amazing i love all the the vines going across the shoe with the leaves and the detailing of the bricks in the tower mm -hmm. crazy better person yeah <laughs> <laughs> And here's a closer up of the shoe. I also like the like the minimalism of the color, just gold heel with a white like detailing in the front. And there's like a braid, mm -hmm. like twining around her ankle and up the sh front of the shoe. Super cute. The vines are so cute, sculpted into the gold heel. Mm. Like the turret, it's really it's really an excellent excellent shoe, and it's both it's the same on both sides. Mm. So it's like a flipped shoe, you know? Yeah. But like this is like all engraved into the plastic of the shoe. So it looks really, really cool. Mm -hmm. And there was always like these differentiating like color. Like, I don't know if you want to say mistakes in the plastic. But like it made it look more or less bronze, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was... An excellent shoe for an excellent doll. Yeah. I literally remember when... I found Holly O'Hare and the Poppy, Holly and Poppy Tupac mm. at the Target um, on the east side in Bakersfield. And I was like, holy crap. Holy <laughs> crap, you know? Yeah. And my pick was uh, SDCC Comic Con exclusive um, Cedar Wood. This doll is really hard to handle because she has. That new body that makes her into a marionette and yeah. all these like tw um, twines that give her the marionette like holder or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that the. It controls her. So, like, yeah. we're going to look at like both sides of this shoe right now. Then we'll look at the front later. I picked her because I think this is the best shoe ever made. Yeah. I think it's the most excellent <laughs> doll shoe ever created. Before I picked her, I was like, why didn't we talk about her in episode Cause one? Because I was like, I want to save her. And yeah. then I was like, why? She should have been in episode one. Yeah. Um, here we have the cuckoo clock on this shoe. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a literal clock right here. The cuckoo so bird. Amazing. And then it's like a, it's a bird house right here. Like, it's so cute. And all the, this is a grandfather clock. Like, engraving with all the details like it's so excellent and then like this like wood graining right here and then the back is like embossed with just like ornate filigree all along the edges of like the the ankle straps here it's such a, like, and then it's painted so like you have like the lavender bird and the coral uh salmon pink rooftop mm -hmm. And then on the other side of the shoe, you have the Ever After High emblem. Oh, God, the Ever After High emblem is so, so cute. Mm -hmm. And then that is also in, like, almost a grandfather clock type, like, background. And then it has the same um, coral roof. 
But this is like the opposite side. So it has like, look at the tiny like engravings in it. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It's so and then incredible. the front of the shoe. So pretty. Is really, really cute. There's like flowers running up in the gold plastic. Like, no. Like yeah. the Ever After High team was on some ape shit stuff right here for designing this shoe. I will never forgive them for this. Yeah. For making me lose my mind the way they did with this shoe. Mm -hmm. That with, with this doll. Paired with like the like lavender uh uh fishnet socks mm -hmm. with like the coral bows, like yeah. a throwback to like her original doll. Like it's such look at these look at these shoes. They're like, amazing. are these windows? They're amazing. There's windows right here. Like, are you serious? Like, and flowers. Like, someone sculpted this doll. Yeah. Like, someone sculpted this or, like, created it in the computer. I don't care. That's still sculpting. Yeah. To me. And created this most well, insane doll. paint that. I think machine does it, but I honestly don't know. She's going to squat over here in the corner. And okay. now we're going to go with Tony's cool. Monster High Pick. C A Cupid. So So why'd you pick these shoes? When I, I, I like walked into the Monster High room uh to be like, okay, who am I gonna pick? And I started walking all the way down to start at the basic dolls and then when I locked eyes with these shoes I was like I found the ones I wanna choose because uh when I looked closer the chains were hearts. The bow and arrow heels. The bow and arrow heels. Uh, they're just so simple and cute and sweet. And yeah, the chain link, uh, heart heels. Oh. Like, literally, it's, it's chain linked. Mm -hmm. And there's, like, white and pastel pink. Mm -hmm. And this heel is a bow and arrow. Is the arrow. Yeah. And here is the bow. So cute. But Cupid's doll was literally just nuts from the beginning. Yeah. With, like, her, like, sprayed on tights. This is the only time this has ever looked good. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Tony is a Cupid stan, so yeah. it's it's good. Mm -hmm. I think they're just super simple shoes for Monster High, at least. Uh, they never reuse these, which I'm really thankful for. Yeah, thank God, because they're her shoes. Yep, hers. But like, they get the job done, and they just tie in so well mm -hmm. to signature Cupid's look. Not much to say about it, you know? Like, yeah. it's just a really, really solid, shoe. beautiful shoe. Yeah. Like, fits her so well. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay, next, I picked Dracula. <laughs> if you guys watched her unboxing and review, yep. um, this is the most insane, stupid shoe I have ever. Oh, wait. I can't take her off her stand because this. Oh, her bat is on there. So let's just wait. Yeah, take the bat off. Oh, uh, just, oh, uh, yeah. He. <laughs> I mean, that's a really cool, like... Yeah, look at that. Thing. We, we like, gasped. We gasped. Do this we again, that. but do it for Count like, Fabulous and Dracula. Or, uh, yeah. Why did I say? Dracula. Please. Okay, so, like, let's, like, get a little bit more intimate with these shoes. Mm. So, in the front of the shoe, it is a bat in the red. And then you have these, like, stained glass castle windows. Amazing. On all along the back of the shoe. Like, what the hell? Yeah. And I know this is all probably done in a computer, but it doesn't matter. Like, I can't do that. Can you? Nope. And then, as if the shoe couldn't get any better, there's these coffins in the back. Mm-hmm. And they have the Dracula, like, Dracula emblem in the back. And, like, you can tell that this is, like, a wing. Mm -hmm. Like, the uh, like the tip of, like, a bat's wing curling around her heel. Yeah. And then it opens. Wow. And there's, like, a sculpted sleeping vampire body. And then on that side, it's a quilted pattern. So. Insane. What do you mean? What are you talking about? What do you mean? I will talk about this shoe until the world ends. Yeah. Like, this is top ten. Top five mm -hmm. best doll shoe ever sculpted. Yeah. It might be the best doll shoe ever sculpted, actually. <laughs> in my in my house. Okay. And then it just slips right through. And then you can 
put her back on her stand, put her little buddy friend right there. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Dracula. King shit. Yep. And then Tony's LOL pick is Metal Chick. She's so short. <laughs> I know. The, like, the OMG body is so tiny. I love it. It's so iconic. I love it. I think I have to, like, hot glue her thing onto her, though. Mm. So why'd you pick Metal Chick? I just think that they're an excellent, I, like, concept shoe. Uh, I, I love... The painted details. Yeah, the painted details. I, if these shoes were real, I'd get them. They're, they're my, they would be mine. Like uh, like a lot of people want to say Melanie Martinez, but I'm like she's not this hard. No, this is this is met off. this is like, what are they called? Uh, metal. <sighs> baby metal. Baby metal. This yeah. is baby metal. Like, are you serious? This yeah. is not Melanie Martinez. Uh, get a little bit more cultured and go beyond your like telescope, like your scope of America. This is baby metal. Like, yeah. Melanie Martinez wishes. Yeah. Like, literally. Come on, felony. Felony. <laughs> but um. Like, what do you like about them? Like, uh, I just really like the color choices. Um, pink and black is my favorite color combo of all time. Uh, so I just really like the alternating coloring on the boots. Uh, like that one's pink, one's black, and like mm -hmm. the, the the straps alternate. Yeah. I just think they're. Really I mean, like the silver is also like. Yeah. There and there, like. I just and there, really, really and there, really cool. like. It's real. Uh, do you guys know if it's switched in any, like, variants? Oh. Is there a variant for that? Let me know. <laughs> like, these are, these are by, like, this standard over here for Mattel, a kind of simple shoe. Yeah. Going forward, there's more simple shoes. Yeah. Because Mattel and, well, not Mattel, Monster High and Ever After I were very much rooted in horror fantasy and just fantasy in general. Yeah. And OMG and Rainbow and Shadow High are kind of more rooted in actual, like, contemporary fashion. Yeah. So, like, there's not enough, like, crazy detailing, you know? Yeah. But, so, like, that's why, like, if things get shorter, it's because, like, well, there's not really much to say. It's just a really yeah. sick shoe that I can't imagine, you know, Barbie doing, you know? Yeah. Like, this is a this is an insane shoe that, like... The biggest doll brand of all time would never even achieve in doing. Yeah. So here we have my pick. Fierce swag. Sorry, I had to lift your coochie, girly. Because <laughs> your dress is a little high. Well, let me move it this way. And her split boots. Like, her split Timberlands. Like, I cannot. They're incredible. They're so stupid. This, yeah. like, painted leather strap that goes wow. up. And, like, the black... Uh, leather cuff right here. These painted edges here I on the lacing. On. What? I thought like that'd be annoying to sit on. Leather on your back of your thigh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obvi, but like, she's not real, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Uh, and like, the way that it still retains its shape. Yeah. Everything about this shoe is so... Per I think it's the best fear shoe. Yeah, easily. By a long shot. Mm -hmm. It is... In I know a lot of people hate it. But what? I don't care. Yeah, a lot of people hate it. I love but it. But I do not care because a lot of people have bad taste. Yeah. And I have excellent taste. <laughs> so, like, just, like, feast your eyes on this shoe. Like, yeah. wow. it's, like, that gold detailing, the brown, the gold along here. Like, how do they even achieve this? Yeah. Ugh. Plus, the doll's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Except for this stupid, horrible this stand. It's so huge for no reason. I think it's the most horrible doll stand that's ever been made. <laughs> I don't know why it's so effing big. I don't even know where the next line of them is going to go. Yeah, if they do... F please, sweets. Sweets. Sweets, fierce doll, That'd be please. Way too I'd have 10 of her. <laughs> the $36 doll. I can afford 10 of her. But I need 10 of her, so. Please don't do that to me. And next is Tony's Shadow High Pick. Uh, Queenie herself. The queen before the twins arrived. Yeah. And by twins, I mean Veronica. Yeah. Because she's the second best Shadow High doll besides Veronica, in my opinion. Yeah. And he picked these little simple um, ribbon heels. I think they're so cute. 
Like, what do you like about them? Um, well, I, I, you just like the combination with this and the heat and like the like the sock or. I like that uh, a lot too, but the shoe itself is just really cute. Like to the me. flocked. Um, if I could, a lot of my toe. picks are like if I could have them in real life. You like, would. Yeah. I think we could find something like this for you. Yeah. Though. Like the ribbon in the top is cute. Is this is telling me that like I don't need to have those shoes With that the... I have to tie myself <laughs> yeah. when it can actually look cute this way on its own. Mm -hmm. Because this is the shoe. It's very, very simple. Mm -hmm. And this part is flocked. Um, it's giving like my husband died yeah. in the fire that I did not start by, <laughs> you know? Her and Robin are future black widows. Yeah. And there's honestly not much to say about that shoe. Going forward with with Rainbow and ever in uh, Shadow High, not, like there's there's not too much to talk about. They're like, really simple but amazing. Like you could probably pinpoint where in fashion, um, her design was pulled from. You know. Yeah. Next, my Shadow High uh, pick was Mara's amazing. Um, amazing fabric signature heels. Ugh. Like, it's going to be quick. I picked them because they're pink. Yeah. Uh, they have, like, the white shadow running all along them. It reminds me of you guys, if you guys, like, were, like, an 80s kid. Not 80s kid. A 90, late 90s, early 2000s kid and watched Digimon. When they would Digivolve, their name would be, like, spiraling around them. And mm -hmm. that's what this is giving me, you know? Like, <laughs> when it's, like, Anjumon, 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 you oh, know? Yeah. Running up <laughs> along them. Like, that's what it's giving to me. And it's a fully fabric shoe besides, like, the heel because, thank you. And, like, you can see that, like, if you took the fabric off it, you'd still get a cute heel underneath. Yeah. Like, it's just a pump. Like, mm -hmm. it's so cute. And I love them. And I love them. And I love them. And I think it suits insane. all the shades of pink that they picked for Mara. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I think she's perfect yeah. with her shoes. I think they're much better than her second shoes. Next, Tony's pick was Kaya Hart's second shoes. Yep. So, w w these are probably some of the most inventive ever after high shoes, I would say. Not mm -hmm. like, not even, like, inventive, but, like, maybe inventive, because, like, we haven't gotten a heel like this yeah. in a minute, you know? Like, um, why do you love them? I, it, it's super similar to my other pick, uh, Chanel's, the, the clogging, the... <sighs> Fuzzy detailing on, yeah. the, on the, front of the front of the heel uh, with the ankle strap. and then With, like, the gold accents. Mm -hmm. the, the fact that the buckle is a heart. Yeah, the uh, heart-shaped heel. Heart it's giving heel. CA Cupid. Uh, and I saw someone paint the heart pink, and I was like, Ooh. I want to do that. I mean, you have a guy, and we <laughs> yeah. have pink paint, and Chris <laughs> can do that, so... Uh, I love these shoes. I think they're much better than her signature heels. Yeah. Taking that as, like... Kaya has the best signature pumps. Yeah. I don't think we've gotten a pair of pumps since her that were as strong and cute as hers. Yeah. Period. Like, I don't, I, like, I'm looking at my dolls right now behind her, like, over here, and I'm not seeing a single pair of actual pumps. I think Kaya's are the only pumps. But these are amazing. With the socks, you have to do the socks with them. Yeah. Like, the fuzzy pink strap right here. The crushed heart I'm talking like a pump without oh, a yeah, strap yeah. like I can't see one no I don't see one then. no like literally I don't see one what are Natasha's she's got like that strap I'm talking like a like not no peep tail yeah. like a bubble heel you know mm -hmm. I don't even know if it's, that's what it's called but like close toe yeah, close toe. <laughs> okay, and then finally, my rainbow high pick was Leela. You dumb bitch. I love you. With you, your stupid Crocs. Uh, I can't believe they did the Balenciaga Crocs. Mm -hmm. With like the spiked details and all the little charms in the front. Wow. There's like, I'm trying to see, like a rainbow... The RH, a uh, lotus flower here, some kanji, a uh, heart, a smiley face. So like, cute. this the shoe, yeah, the spikes on both. This, this piece moves. Yeah. It literally moves, so you can, like, move it yeah, to the, the front. front. Yeah. And then along, it's, like, that quilted, like, rainbow high pattern that they always use. Mm. 
especially with the socks. I know that this doll has her slew of controversies, but I think we can all agree that her shoes are not one. Yeah. Like, it's insane that they did this. Yeah. A croc. Yeah. So amazing. Mm -hmm. Like I guess, like I said, there's not much to really discuss when it yeah. comes to the end of like the, the the rainbow, so to say. Maybe we should start with rainbow next time. Yeah. Oh, lesson learned. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's episode two of All About the Shoes. We're I know it's been two months since we did one of these. Hey, yeah. But like I don't know, it's been kind of like a busy couple of months. Yeah. Um. But there'll definitely be more episodes of this because I have plenty of dolls shoes that I want to talk about. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.